Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, listen, we are back for another video today and, well, today we're going to be focusing on turtles. And the reason is, well, if you're new to the channel, we have a couple of turtles. Number one is, is we have Soup. Yes, Turtle Soup. She is a little red-eared slider. And then we also have Stu. Yes, Turtle Stu, who is a Western African mud turtle or better known as an African side neck turtle. These two turtles happen to live on my front porch and they're cool little enclosures and I will go ahead and link those videos in a card right up here. Make sure you go check those out if you haven't. When my buddy Zach from SC Fishkeeping was in town, he ended up building this enclosure which I ended up using that kind of style for the African side neck as well. I live in Texas, North Texas specifically, and it is going to be cold. Right now it is in the 60s and 70s which is fine for these turtles. However, in about two days it's going to be in the third. You don't want to miss this but we're basically giving our rescue turtles this brand new little turtle playground where they can interact with one another they are the same size not like they can hurt each other of course they could hurt each other I mean they're turtles however they're not ninja turtles <laughs> So it's not like they're gonna backflip out of the thing. They're not gonna like kick each other. And I, I mean, anyway, just hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's get into this. All right, guys. Well, what we have here is we have this tub and there is a bag of topsoil that is currently in this tub. We also have another bag of topsoil right here. So step one is, is we need to fill this thing up with this topsoil. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Now it's just a matter of getting it pushed around, all this big stuff broken up. We now have all of the dirt in here, kind of compacted down, and now we're gonna start scaping this thing. So we have a few little plants here, and I did research to understand if turtles could be around these particular types of plants, and they absolutely can. I got plenty of recommendations from people, and in fact, this particular little plant I have in my turtle tank now, as well as in my paludarium, and in fact, pretty much all these plants can be bought at a reptile show. The only difference is, is that these have probably been treated with some sort of a pesticide and fertilizers and things of that nature. So we are going to break as much dirt off of these as we can and replant these in new fresh potting soil that does not have any fertilizers in it. As well as I spent a good bit of time washing these things down to get pesticides and things of that nature off. We should be good at this point, but I'm gonna do a little more washing once I get the potting soil out of these pots. We have some small little rock, we have some cork rounds, and some stones and things like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing put together. We went ahead and put in the first turtle hide, which is this half cork round here, which will allow the turtle to get up underneath there, burrow in there and hide if it would like to. So we're gonna go ahead and plant something. And I think what I'm gonna plant here is a part of this spider plant. I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these gold dust plants. Well, we got that guy back there as well. Let's start moving across this thing until we are done. All right, well, we have the second hide placed here and I have the rock back there just simply so the turtle cannot get out over that. I doubt very seriously if I was to dig that dirt out, it would be able to, but we at least don't want it to try to get out. We have another piece of the spider plant here. We put some of this colorful plant here. We are gonna go ahead and put something right here as well. And I think that's gonna be this guy here. So we'll get this in here. All right, guys, well, this thing is done, as you can tell. So we have a cork hide here. We have another cork hide right here. We have multiple plants, rocks, things of that nature. The dirt is at a low enough level that the turtle cannot climb up on the side and actually get out. So now we have two things left to move in, and we're gonna get to that right now. All right, guys, well, we went ahead and moved in the tubs from outside. So we have the African side neck here, and we have the little red-eared slider right here. What we now need to do is situate the pumps and everything to keep the water flowing in these tubs. The whole setup, I mean, these turtles are kind of big as far as like, you know, next spring they may need to be moved into the pond outside, but we'll make that determination once winter is over. But I do like this whole setup for smaller turtles. And in fact, I'm gonna keep this. And I don't know if you remember when I built my front porch pond, you can see that right here. And then I'll go ahead and put a link up in a card above for you to watch that if you have not seen it. I took one of these standard 
standard little Rubbermaid tubs and I built a surround around it out of wood. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually build a surround for this that just simply lifts off. That has a space for actual filtration so it's hidden and it's out of sight. So stay tuned for that video later on, but I think that will turn out really cool. And then we'll have a nice little rescue area for more turtles. Well, for today though, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this build. I need to water these plants real quick and I am gonna put some sort of a watering system in here. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that just yet. Next step, I need to get the filtration set up and running. There's no way for these turtles to get from the aquatic area to the terrestrial area. We're gonna have to build a turtle bridge for each of them. And we're gonna do that in just a moment after we set up this filtration. Well, what we have is, is we have our filtration set up and these are ZooMed Turtle Clean 15s, which will do these tubs just fine. And hey, I wanted to kind of break down for just a second. Somebody told me, they were like, you need a 40 gallon at least. I need you to understand one thing real quick. And this isn't to contradict somebody's advice or what have you, because I agree. However, what I want you to know is, is that a 40 gallon is recommended because of the overall uh, square inch size of the bottom. That is so they have enough room to swim around and such. The amount of water you put in there really doesn't matter. Uh, they're still gonna swim up and bask and things of that nature. So what I wanted you to know is, is that these tubs from a square inch or a floor space perspective are actually larger than a 40 gallon. So these are significantly larger than a 40 gallon. They're fine, they're not as deep obviously, but the turtle just needs to be submerged. So we have our zoom in, turtle clean 15s running, which is fantastic. Now all we need to do is build these bridges and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that right now. All right guys, well what we have here is we have egg crate, which is just a basic light diffuser you can buy at Home Depot. This stuff is like a four by two sheet or something like that. It's about $15 at Home Depot and this stuff is fantastic. Especially if you were, as a kid, you know, you used uh, Legos to build. This stuff is fantastic for building structure as you've seen in many of my other videos. So we're gonna be using that today to build these bridges. So the first thing we need to do is cut it down to size. So we're gonna do that right now and and there we go. We have two panels, the right size, and these are actually gonna be our bridges. Now, we could, you know, cut these down and zip tie them and do all this kind of stuff, but I have a different way that we're gonna do this today. And what we're gonna use is a torch, which this is a torch lighter. I just bought at Walmart, it's like a dollar. I would have used my heat gun, which would be a better option, but my heat gun is broken. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. All right, guys, I am sorry, but the file that was, the instructional piece on how to do this was actually corrupt, so I am going to refilm this with just a little piece of this egg crate, just so you understand how this actually works. So essentially, with this egg crate, what you're gonna do is take your torch or your heat gun or whatever it is that you're gonna use to heat this up. You're gonna pick your line as far as where you want it to bend and you're literally going to take this light it and you're going to just start slowly moving it across that particular line and as you're doing it gently put pressure at that bend where you want it to bend and eventually as the plastic starts to melt and heat up then what you will have is it'll start to bend just like that once it's bent to your angle that you want let it sit for just a second before you move it and then what happens is is you have the bend that you want it does not actually break the plastic all that much that's how i made those bins i just wanted to show you that real quick much easier than cutting this stuff down and zip tying it you can mold this however you want you can't put a lot of bend in this just simply because the plastic will break and then as far as the sides all i did was literally the same thing took an extra piece just heated up the plastic and literally just welded it together plastic welding which is a thing actually so yeah but that's how i did it so we have our angles we have everything bent the way we need it so now it's a matter of placing it in here and making sure it fits so the smaller portion is our terrestrial ramp and the larger portion is our aquatic ramp fits perfectly in here all right the reason i did this the way i did it in this side so long and such is i want it to not be such a drastic slope up and I want there to be a hide under here and the reason is is because semi-aquatic and aquatic turtles in fact do like hides in their water so we want to make sure that there is a hide now I do have one more modification I need to make to this because as you see if this turtle decides to walk up here he can walk this way or he can walk that way and get off so we're gonna modify this just a little bit and then we'll work on the second all right guys well we got the bridges set up where they have access to their terrestrial area now and actually it's funny because turtle stew has already actually been up in here and in fact turtle stew being the african side neck had come up in here and completely 
buried himself in the dirt up underneath this cork hide right here. So that is fantastic. Turtle soup I have put up here and he has made his way back into the water, which is fantastic. So I am not finished with these ramps by any means. We are actually going to make these much more natural looking. However, I'm going to do that later on. So my question is, is do you have any recommendations? My idea is, is to cover this completely with some moss and you know, rocks and things like that using silicone and foam and all of those great things. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this and are there any recommendations that you guys have? All right. Well, hopefully you guys like this new little terrestrial area for our rescue turtles now please go ahead and comment below and let me know what do you want these ramps to look like I want some input from you guys go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think and I'll make sure I include that in an upcoming video with all of that hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video hopefully you enjoy the new turtle enclosure and obviously hopefully you're enjoying the content and from the bottom of my heart I just want to say thank you very much for coming along with us on this journey and watching our videos and following along. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. Turn on that little notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads and make sure you follow us on Instagram. I'm going to be doing some more merch giveaways very soon. So if you have won merch or you have purchased merch, make sure you post a picture on Instagram and tag me so I can repost it. I really like doing that. So thank you very much once again and hey, we will see you next time.